a story about one of my coaching clients, Rosalie. Firstly, during our coaching session, Rosalie realized that she was not just lazy. The root cause of her feeling lazy, feeling lethargic, doing a lot of procrastination was that she was really scared of failing. That was the root cause of it all. So coaches and mentors can sometimes help you identify root causes. And the root causes are not external work at not how to be more productive, but what was really driving you inside. So you need to do a lot of personal development and some inner work. So she needed to know this because understanding her feelings actually was the first step to fix whatever is wrong with them. So Rosalie remembered, talked to me about her past mistakes, all the past mistakes that she did that made her scared. So I said, yeah, maybe that could be it, or maybe it's something deeper than that. So we started to talk about her childhood, and we were able to trace some memories that she just took for granted, that finally she realized that these innocent little memories have made her running scared of making mistakes, running scared of failing. Actually, all of us have those fears, but some have those fears deeper or more serious than the others. So after realizing that, she was able to feel some relief and she also started talking to her friends and they shared stories about feeling lazy too. So she just did not believe me when I said everybody feels that at a certain point, but she started validating what I said and she was very happy that she saw her friends going through the same phase and that made her feel better. I asked her to do some journaling. So I said, you know, Rosalie, what would help is if you would write down your feelings. And she did. And as she wrote down her feelings, she was able to understand them even more. So after that, as a coach, I guided her to set small goals. Instead of big tasks, instead of big goals, just start small. So start with small goals to overcome your fear. And as she did it, her work began to feel less difficult. Every time she finished a task, Rosalie felt fulfilled and she felt happy. And she would make a list of every task that she did every day. And looking at the long list that she has had throughout the weeks and the months, she was feeling very, very accomplished. And I told her, why don't you reward yourself? And then she did. She gave herself small treats like a small candy after finishing the goals, accomplishing the goals that she had for the day. That helped boost her confidence. Now, the third thing that we did was find Rosalie a buddy, an accountability partner, a friend who could help her in her business. Not necessarily in her business, but a friend whom she could talk to about her business. So they talked every week. They shared ideas and they cheered and rallied each other. Now, having a buddy made Rosalie feel less alone. You know, being a business owner is a very lonely journey. And if there's nobody you can share it with, it's so difficult and you would get discouraged and therefore having a buddy would help. I do have my own accountability buddy and we would meet until now at my age. We would meet every Tuesday without fail. It will be just one hour meeting and we would talk about our accomplishments and our plans for the next week and we would cheer each other on. If you are a woman, it would help if your accountability buddy is another woman because women can share this bond to talk about business as well as relationships. The fourth thing that Rosalie and I did in that coaching engagement was for her to be reminded of why she started her business. So she looked at her old photos and realized that even way back when she was still small, she was still a teenager and she was in her preteens, she already loved to create stuff. So she wrote down her dreams and she remembered her dreams then. She wrote down her dreams, listed them down, and she talked to happy customers. And the happiness that she saw with her customers when they got their handmade pillows made her so much inspired. And this was always a constant reminder to her why she loved her business so much. Now, most importantly, the last thing that I guided her to do was to take care of herself. You see, we women, usually we don't really focus on ourselves. We focus on our loved ones. We focus on our work. And the last person who we would take care of is ourselves. So I guided her to use a calendar to set aside time to do fun things. She loved taking short walks. That was fun for her. So go ahead. Eating healthy food because she ate too much candy is already rewarding herself was also very important. And of course, getting at least eight hours of sleep every night. And when you feel good because you are well rested, you are well nourished, and you have a lot of fun in your life. Well, that was what happened to Rosalie. Then Rosalie felt good and her work became good as well. So 
If Rosalie can overcome her feelings and make her business grow, so can you.